Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Star Connor. A team of explorers from around the country made their way to Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary this week as citizen scientists. The team from Project Baseline, a program created by the Global Underwater Explorers, volunteered their time and diving skills to document the unique cultural resources of the Great Lakes and its shipwrecks. Focusing on the Flint and the Montana shipwrecks, the team will create photos for people to learn more about the shipwrecks in the future at the sanctuary. The idea there is to take an enormous amount of pictures that you can basically stitch together so that you can create a photographic model of the wreck. And what's really exciting about that is that it ultimately reproduces the wreck in almost perfect detail uh, on the uh, on the computer screen and so then that can then be shared uh, through many different platforms of course so that people can see those wrecks for themselves not only can they experience them but then if we were to come back uh, at a later date let's say five years from now and do the same kind of photographic process then we can measure how rapidly the wreck is uh, changing through time Kincaid says he encourages divers to collect information to establish a baseline so that more studies can be done on the rapid changes of the underwater world. There are about 200 shipwrecks lost in the region. Only 97 have been found.